Hello Slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is my first ever September wrap up, wrap up video. I'm pretty late on this because if you don't know, I have a reaction channel called Billy the Reaction Slayer and I'm reacting to five shows this month. So it's been very hard for me to sit down and do this with all the editing that I have to do for that channel. But I'm gonna work out a system here. I'm late on my September wrap up and I guess I'll be even later for my October TBR, which at this point I guess has to be turned into a fall TBR, which is fine because I have like 20 books at the moment anyways. I might try to lower it, <laughs> but I mean, I guess I could just, I actually know. I gotta get Gracie in and that's too cute. Sorry, I'm dog sitting right now and she's too cute to not be in this video. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys may be new here or perhaps just don't know. I met Billy, I'm 30 years old, I've been a content creator since like 2009 really. I've been a little lost with what I want to do here on my main channel, thinking lifestyle, author tube, booktube. I feel like that's a good mesh. I'm obsessed with these types of videos. It's funny to say like I love books because I'm an audible listener. I'm dyslexic and it's just the best way for me to intake stories. I was gonna say, like, I really love storytelling in general. I have a bachelor's and master's both in film, and out of that whole college experience, my screenwriting class was everything to me. Wow, this is what I want to do. The most important thing I took from that class was, it's so crazy, you write a script, basically sell it to a production, give up your rights, and then take your story and create it however way they want to. So the biggest thing I took from that class is it's best to write a book because that'll always be your story completely. Get offered an adaptation or want to make it yourself. I'm like okay with other people making or creating my stories, but it's like you can't change the book. So yeah, I'm finally writing my fantasy romance. I'm super excited about it. It's like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Twilight with a edgy true blood overall tone. So in love with all the characters. They've been living in my head for years now and I finally figured out the perfect story. I'm going to be doing author tube like I said so stay tuned for that. I haven't really launched that content pillar of the channel yet. That's what I'm going to focus on after I get my fall TBR out. I feel like this one's kind of basic and everyone's knows about it now. Great raving reviews on it, which is the book Verity. I kind of feel like I have a bit of an unpopular opinion with that book, though I was very captivated the whole time. I just think all three of them are batshit. There's things that bothered me with the main character. I feel like she just waited too long to like say anything or like do anything. And for the fact that she, it was because she was so obsessed with the guy, like at a point, come on girl, like grow up. Okay, so next is probably my favorite book that I've read thus far. I started at the end of August and finished it in the top of September, which was Done and Dusted by Layla Sage. Don't know what it is about this book. The audible was so good. The male voice actor was like so sexy. The girl was perfect as well. Love like a charming small town vibe. I like the aesthetic of it. It felt really modern too. And in like the first chapter they mentioned Sweet Home Alabama and that's one of my favorite movies. It's a series. There's going to be four Four books all together. The third one's coming out in November. Final one, April, I believe, of next year, or something like that. March, April. You can guess what's gonna be sneak peek on my TBR for fall. She's like mid 20s, maybe 27, the oldest. Comes home to like her ranch life after getting into a horseback riding 
accident. I can't think of his name right now, which is a sin. I think it's Luke, which is her brother's best friend, which like I love that trope in general. Had a lot of inspiration for one of the characters that I'm writing in my book. If you saw my first booktube vlog, you'll know that I listened to Paris Hilton's memoir, Paris. So good, gave it five stars. I love a celebrity memoir. Nine times out of ten, like it's gonna be a five star because like I just love the person in general so it's always fun and it's always surprising every time how deep and mostly dark their lives are at some points. Check out that vlog to find out who's my favorite celebrity memoir book. So good. Paris was so fun. She's funny and like I don't think people know that. It was just a good time and boy does she have a dark story too within the rich glamour lifestyle. So next speaking of memoir vibes I actually started this last year and then picked it up again as I was getting back into writing my book. The book is On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft by Stephen King. Obviously, he's been in the game for quite some time. I've never actually listened to a Stephen King book. That is definitely going to change soon. I haven't even really seen a lot of the film ad adaptations to his stuff either. So so that could be interesting maybe for even my reaction channel. Drop in the comments what's your favorite adaptation of Stephen King's books. Of course I know that Salem's Lot is out right now. I'm not going to react to that but I'm definitely going to watch it and I'm going to watch it without reading the book which is... Mm probably not the best thing but my tbr is stacked i'd rather read misery i think which is probably his like most iconic but i actually only gave this three stars i'm not a fan of the rating the books because these authors put so much work and it's really so subjective to you memoir is literally in the title but i came here for the writing of it i want to know like the writing tips that's why i'm here the idea of a stephen king memoir is very interesting to me but i would just rather have that been like separate it would go into his cool great writing tips and stuff like that but then talk about how he got hurt while going for a walk like he got hit by a car or something it was actually crazy but it was just like it's this is a book about writing that sounds kind of messed up i don't know it ended up not being too memorable because of the memoir part next is story substance structure style and the principles of screenwriting by robert mckee i also gave this three stars though it's rated a 4.28 to me it was low because again it kind of gave fluff around me just wanting the writing advice of it also the blueprint of writing books so it kind of felt older not very current i believe he might have an updated one i could be thinking of something else recommended by a youtuber that i like and it didn't hit it was like i can't even really remember anything from it next is a self-help which i talked about in depth on my podcast young millennials you can check that out for my insights there with my friend and co-host lex it was atomic habits Moving forward, everything on my TBR is fiction besides one. We're doing a book club on my podcast, and I'm going to keep that nonfiction because it like is good for discussion. So next, with another three stars, is Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel, aka Hocus Pocus 2. The first part of the book is a retelling of the movie, which I just skipped. That is my favorite Halloween movie. I did not need the refresher. It is cool that it's written in a book. I briefly mentioned this in my vlog, How to Romanticize Your Life This Fall. Needs some work. Love to get like some writers in it to help spruce it up. But I think the sequel that we truly wanted, Young Millennial Fans, started off strong, like that it followed Max and Allison's daughter. That's just the natural progression of the way it should be. The Sanderson sisters have this fourth sister who is 
good and helps the kids as she's like a ghost really like that element lastly i read they both die at the end that was really interesting i can definitely see a movie adaptation being made on this book if you're not familiar with the book basically you randomly get this call and it's a specific ring you know the call that you're gonna get they call to tell you you're gonna die in the next 24 hours you don't know what time you don't know how and i think one of the coolest parts is there's an app for other people that are going to be dying in the next 24 hours kind of like a dating app vibe but for people that are going to die in the next 24 hours it follows these two boys that meet up they have like a romance my only thing wanted the romance to come sooner I'm, guys you're gonna die today which is it's crazy but i gave that a four star i like the way it ended i mean it's in the title so I'll just say that. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know how to say it without spoiling. Alrighty, Slayers. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you read any of these books or feel inspired to check out any of these books. Out of everything, I would recommend Done and Dusted. It was just like a light, fun quick read good escapism but yeah if you'd like me to make more videos like this give this a thumbs up let me know subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys on the next one it's billy bitch what are you doing okay come here come here she's scared of the have the oh she's scared all right